If you're looking for a job in this job market right now as a developer, it could be a web developer, front end developer, back end developer, email developer, Shopify developer, WordPress developer, it doesn't matter. You need to watch this video because I bet you, you're probably doing this mistake. So let's get into it, guys. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. The number one mistake that I keep seeing all the time is people disqualifying themselves from the job. So let's say you find a position and the position is in California, but you live in New York City and you might say, well, damn, this job is all the way in California. Are they even going to give me a job opportunity? I can tell you right now about 90% of all students that go to codingphase.com get jobs outside of the state where they actually live. Right. And that's been the pandemic and pre-pandemic so it wasn't just like hey this only happened when they were hiring a lot of people remotely this happens all the time i give you a great example right so everybody knows about new york city but not everyone knows about poughkeepsie new york or not everybody knows about melville new york which is in long island not a lot of people want to go and work outside of new york city because guess what they don't want to travel there so even if they have talented developers in New York City, they don't want to go to the outskirts of New York. And that's where you actually have an advantage. You are a qualified developer. Yes, you don't live in New York. Yes, you don't live in Melville, New York. But guess what? Because you are qualified for the position, you can apply to it. Yes, they didn't mention that they want somebody remotely. But guess what? They don't have an option. That's just the facts. A lot of companies, especially small to medium sized businesses, don't really have an option when they are going to hire a developer, someone who can actually come in and, and do the work and hit the ground running. They really don't have those options like the big companies or the companies are in the major cities. So what they do is they go in, take all the applications, and then from there, once they see who is the best developer, then they decide hey, do we want to keep this person? And a lot of times when they realize, yeah, we could have somebody that's local, but guess what? He's not as good as this guy that lives in California, or he's not as good as this guy that lives in Ohio or lives in Florida. So at that point, they're going to decide who is the best talent for their company. So please do not disqualify yourself from the position. That's not your job. That's somebody else's job. That's the HR person, a recruiter's job to go in and see if this is the right candidates for this company. That's what they get paid for. You don't get paid for you going in and say, man, I'm not going to apply to this job because maybe they won't take me. That's not your decision. Let them decide that. Okay. And I'm seeing a lot of people that are making this mistake. And then they wonder like, man, why am I not getting that many interviews? Why am I not getting that many opportunities? Right. Sometimes your local market might not be the place where you're going to be able to shine. You're going to be able to shine in other markets, other states. You get what I'm saying? So this is something that I want you guys to go in. And when you start applying to jobs on Indeed, EntryLevelJobs.ai, uh, ZipRecruiter, uh, Glassdoor, wherever, and shoot, LinkedIn, wherever you apply, right? Make sure you apply to every position that you qualify for. Let them decide if you are the right candidate. Don't do their job for them. Okay. That's what that person gets paid for. And also too, there's certain filters where they'll say, well, this job position is mandatory for somebody to live in the East Coast or mandatory to live in New York or live in California or live in Texas or live in Utah, wherever, right? They'll set those filters there automatically your job as a candidate is just to apply and wherever you can fit in try to fit in okay and try to get in that's the goal okay because at the end of the day the more interviews that you get the better you're going to be at interviews and also too the more opportunities that's going to come your way so please do not disqualify yourself from any position unless it's something that you know after reading the description you'll be like man this is way over my head i won't be able to do this because at the end of the day you're just going to embarrass yourself and you're just going to be like well maybe i can't really do this thing okay so don't waste their time and don't waste yours but when you are qualified for the position and you look at the description and say yeah i could do this job guess what apply to it don't overthink it okay and don't do their job for them 
all right so anyways guys it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com i just wanted to give you guys a little quick tip make sure you check out some of these videos that i have right here for you guys and by the way definitely go check out codingphase.com right now we're running a 35 percent off so if you've been wanting to get a crazy deal come through it's going to be for a limited time only this week so definitely come check out codingphase.com i'll put the link in the description and yeah let's get started 